So on that point, because you bring up social media again, I know you write in your book and talk in interviews about how on the one year anniversary of going public as the Facebook whistleblower, everyone was asking, you know, what was the biggest impact and, and would you do this again? Mm. Um, but now almost mm. two years later, as we see things like the Digital Service Act coming into force, things like the Surgeon mm -hmm. General's warning on children and social media recently, I mean, what do you think um, was the biggest game changer mm. of the Facebook files? Well, I think the thing that I'm uh, most personally proud of is um, I, one of the other things the European Union passed was whistleblower protections. So in terms of um, things that I think are syst systematic um, uh, decreases of risk for society, you know, we, we need whistleblowers, right? Where when, when you have an economy that is run more and more by opaque systems, um, the people on the inside become critical um, uh, mechanisms of public safety. Like when you look at what I forgot the name of the organization, it's like it's like the you know American Auditors Association or something like that, like financial auditors. Like they don't call whistleblowers whistleblowers; they call them sentinels, right? Because they're like the first line of defense. Um, and so that's like the thing I think uh, um, I got to meet the woman. Um, who was the Enron whistleblower, who did a huge amount of work around passing whistleblower laws in the United States. Um, and I felt it, it, I felt honored to be part of her lineage because I got whistleblower protections because of her. And I look forward to one day meeting a whistleblower who got whistleblower protections you know, under that scheme. But, but the second thing is, you know, I, I really want to contextualize what the Surgeon General's warning means in the advisory means in the United States. There have only been like 10, 15 of these advisories since the 60s, right? The, the, the things like uh, smoking causes cancer, um, seatbelts save lives, breastfeeding helps children. Um, these things are things where when I say them, people are like, yeah, duh, like cigarettes. We all know that. Um, but, but in the time period before those advisories came out, there was a great deal of ambiguity. And uh, one of the things that has happened historically when one of those advisories takes place is within two to three years after it, usually some kind of action moves forward. We don't know what that action will take. Will it be a class action situation? Will it be a law? Will it be, you know, who knows? But usually society begins making movement in the time after those advisories come out. And so, uh, you know, if you had asked me two years ago, because um, I left Facebook almost exactly two years ago, right? So I left Facebook about um, uh, two years and one month ago, I left Facebook. Um, I came out, you know, three months from now in the future, um, four months from now in the future. Um, but uh, if you had asked me, is the Surgeon General going to make an advisory in the next two years? You know, I, I don't think I would have ever said yes, right? Like we were just not in that place as a society. Um, and so uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really cautiously optimistic about what's going to unfold in the next couple of years.